What's up everybody? I'm at Wake Up Whitetail, a new coffee shop that my friends just opened up near my hometown. So I just want to let people know if they're in the Brandon, Wisconsin area and they want a coffee or some breakfast, they should drop by and support a small business that some of my good friends just opened. They have an awesome collection of mounts to look at. While I was home, I stopped in there a few times and it's cool to see families bring their kids in there and look at the deer mounts and kids get excited to see that stuff. And it's the only place that you can buy THP merch in person. And we're also going to be doing a collab with them on some THP branded coffee. So I'll drop a link in the description where you can pre-order that. Just so we can get a gauge on how much we should order to start here. And hopefully we can get an order in here where people can get their stuff in time for the holidays. As always, we appreciate the support and wanted to say thanks again to everyone who ordered stuff during the Black Friday through Cyber Monday sales. I know Hayden, Mindy, and Crystal have been packing that stuff up as fast as possible and shipping it out. And if you missed the Black Friday sale, don't worry because we'll have pop-up deals going on throughout the rest of the year. And the best way to know when those are going on is to subscribe to our newsletter. That'll keep you up to date on all the latest sales, new product launches, and more. But without further ado, let's hunt. I don't think he's feeling too good. Yeah, I was just sitting here watching him and walking in circles. It's like you don't even know where he is. Mm -hmm. Sad. That's a shame, it's a nice buck. Too. Yeah, I guess hopefully somebody else should kill him tomorrow, I guess, if he's not dead by then. You going out tomorrow? Oh, hell yeah. Good luck. <laughs> I thought maybe he had a doe out there or something, but. Clean circles. Uh-huh, all right, well good luck. <laughs> Have a good one. Have a good one. Hey, FaceTiming me? Yeah, you working? Uh, not till this afternoon. Any of your buddies want to go dispatch a deer? And he's just walking in circles out in this field here. Is he like in the middle of the field? Yeah. I don't know if we'll be able to, but the DNR might be able to. But if you call our dispatch, yeah, either the deputy or them will call. Sounds good. Uh, see you. Yeah, bye. Well, that's a pretty odd start to the gun camp videos. I figured maybe it was locked down with the doe, but after watching him for a while, you could tell something's wrong with him. I don't know if he got hit by a car or has some sort of disease. I just let the dispatcher know, and apparently somebody else had already called about it, so it seemed like he'd been out there for quite a while. But I'm gonna head up there. Things are a little different this year. If you watched the video of my fiance shooting her first buck with a bow, you know that we demolished the trailer home that we used to stay in. It was just getting to where I don't even know if it was very safe to stay in it anymore. Carbon monoxide poisoning. And for the one weekend out of the years that we stayed in it, we just kind of turned the yard into another place to hunt instead. My brother's in-laws have got a cabin nearby that we're gonna be staying at. But that's just the way things go. Things are constantly changing. You just gotta try to make the best of it. Even though the old coop's been demolished, we're gonna try to keep the tradition alive and do our annual pre-opening Day, dinner catch up with Riley and my family on how their both seasons went and tell stories about that so it should be a good time and then we'll jump in the blind tomorrow morning so I'm excited cool temps. Just paddling across the river now. Jim's gonna come back across and get me and we're gonna get set up and hopefully some deer get pushed down in here. You know how it goes.
<laughs> He's gonna die. Pretty nice one, huh? They look like it. I only saw him for a second. Maybe he'll come running into you when he starts getting shot at. I was gonna say, hopefully whoever is sitting out there ain't a good shot. <laughs> See a rack from Yeah, I could see a china in the sun. Let me get some bonus bucks today oh. down in here. I haven't seen a nice one out there in a while. I don't feel like. He's still standing in there. Let's see. Thinking about looking oh. at, looking around trying to figure out what exactly to do. Those guys will see him. No. Somebody ripped out. Sounded like a wham when I said on March so Yeah. Maybe. It's party time. Maybe it ain't good he only shot once. Or maybe it is that those guys didn't show maybe he said it this way. Yeah, the last time I saw him he was to the right of that. Shot earlier, wasn't it? I want to hear some ice breaking now. Come on. Ice breaking out here. Right here, right here. Buck.
heard of him. It's too bad the big boy probably got killed yeah. in some place. <laughs> Can you imagine if he would have come through the <laughs> The rest of our opening weekend we continued to see a bunch of does and some of the same bucks that we had come by, but nothing that we wanted to shoot, so we're going to fast forward it to our annual deer drives later in the week. Sure he he's directing traffic <laughs> out here right now. He's got some people looking for him. So. All right, well, we got three doves down. We're going to head back to the shop and cook up some of this heart and loin and have a bunch of folks over and talk hunting stories. Is it good? Would you have given it another year? I don't know. Yeah, I no, I want to be there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so season's over now, and I'm back at the computer putting this all together, and I was going to give the Gabe Morton a call and see if I could figure out what ended up being the deal with that deer if they figured anything out there. I'm not able to take your call, but if you leave your name, number, and a brief message, I will get back to you as soon as I'm able. I'll just drop some text in and let you guys know what happened if he gets back to me, but if he doesn't, thanks for watching. Appreciate you. We'll see you on the next one.